You're negotiating any time you try to influence someone to do something. Every one of us will come across a giant negotiation at one point or another that is the difference between our resounding success or our resounding failure. If you have encountered a giant in your life or you are dealing with one now or you may be dealing with one in the future, you're an entrepreneur looking to sell your business, for example, to a larger player, then you're going to want to hear what I have to say because my work is based on hundreds of years of smaller player experiences where they got what they wanted. What I've done is brought that together into a pretty simple structure where you can think, okay, I'm in this giant negotiation, what do I do now? And by not trying to run away or grab a gun, she never flinches. When you're dealing with a giant, never flinch on the trust side. The person who gets the most points gets the 50 bucks. <laughs> Easily protected and you're, you can move quickly and you can go to other alternatives. He needed a way to do that where he could guarantee that people would buy his CDs. 40%. Safe, got his money, didn't take out all his chips. As long as those giants are allowed to play behind the scenes and influence the political decision-making process, that affects a regulatory process, that affects what happens uh, as we've all seen in terms of a meltdown. There are two negotiations embedded in every single negotiation. One is over the process, how you're going to negotiate, who's going to be involved, where, when, what issues you're going to discuss. On the other hand, there's the substance, the terms and conditions of your deal, tangible skills. I'm not going to just go there and inspire them and have them think, oh, I can do great things. I'm going to give them the tools, the concrete tools they can go back to the office and apply the next day for getting what they want in some of their toughest negotiations. <laughs>